Today is the day we do our new parent orientation. Usually we serve you a wonderful lunch, but given the situation, we thought it would be better to record the show and send it to your home where everything is safe and secure. Paragon teachers will come on in a few minutes and tell you about themselves, their classes, and what they teach. Our hope is to answer a lot of your questions proactively, but if you're still left with a few questions at the end, feel free to drop me an email. We're gonna to talk today about summer assignments, dress code, and some of our plans for the fall. We're not quite sure how things will go this summer with the pandemic, so we're making several different options our priority in our planning this summer. Hopefully we're back here at the Balcones campus, socially distanced, masks if we need them, hand washing, temperature taking, all the new tricks that we've learned to keep our students safe and sound. It may be that we have to go back to some online learning. Not our favorite, but something that Paragon teachers are really good at. We had a lot of success this spring with our students continuing to learn. I'm so proud that Paragon students did not miss a single day of education in 2019-2020, and that will be our goal for this following year as well. So we appreciate your attendance, your flexibility of thought and planning, and we look forward to forging through this time together. Welcome to Paragon. Hey Paragon, it's Mark Hathaway here. Uh, I am the other owner of the school, I'm the business manager, and I've been dubbed the Minister of Culture. So depending on what grade your student is in, you're going to see uh, different aspects of me. But one of the things is you're going to get invoices from me, so that's uh, part of the job. Um, so you'll get bills and you can ask me any questions about anything. There's different ways to pay and I'll, I'll always put all those options on the invoices to you. Uh, if you have any questions about billing or what to expect throughout the year, you can always email me. Um, as far as the other side, uh, the Minister of Culture, uh, we want to make sure, you know, we get a lot out of these kids and we work hard, but we want to make sure that we're having fun too as well. So it's very important that we have a fun community and we space out all the fun things that we do with the kids. And I think you know, I spend so much time here and there on the, you know, I don't teach a class right now, but I spend a lot of time in between in the halls or at lunch or just seeing the kids uh, throughout the day and really keeping my pulse on how things are going. So I want to make sure to keep it light, keep it fun, and uh, have a great school year. So looking forward to working with y'all. Hi, I'm Lindsay Hay, Deputy Head of School for Paragon Prep. We haven't required a computer for students in kinder through fifth grade before. Just to be safe, we are requesting that you have a computer for your child to use at home in case we switch to remote learning. The computers that we have found that have been the best are Chromebooks. Um, there's a wide price range and they don't have to have the top of the line. The only things that we request is that there's a keyboard, a camera, and a microphone. You can find a list for all the supply lists on our summer page. If you have any questions, let us know. Hi, I'm Miss Monica and I'm the school counselor here at Paragon. Throughout the year, we really focus on a lot of social emotional learning and we incorporate them in the classrooms. We also work with student council and we create awareness programs and campaigns for the school. And then I also help facilitate smaller groups design based on student need and student wants. And then I'm also available for individual counseling um, as needed. So I think it's more important than ever that we are providing students and families support services during this pandemic. Uh, give them a space to talk about it, to process it, and resources as we go through the unknown future together. I am available throughout the summer if you need any support or resources or referrals. Um, don't hesitate to shoot me an email, monica at paragonprep.com. Another preparation in the summer is getting the proper dress code. New to the dress code this year is you can wear a college shirt from any college or university any day of the week. You can also wear a Paragon t-shirt any day of the week. If you don't have a Paragon t-shirt or a college shirt, 
uh, then you need to wear a collared shirt. And that's a collared shirt with a collar. It could be button-up, it could be a polo shirt. You can wear plain front sweatshirts or sweaters. And you can wear uh, skirts as long as they are fingertip length or have a five inch inseam if they're shorts. Athletic skirts, skorts, and shorts are not permitted for boys or girls. Um, they have to be made out of a sturdy fabric. Yoga pants and leggings are not permitted unless they are underneath a skirt, shorts, pants, or dress. Hi, my name is Crystal Young and I'm the pre-K teacher and I'm here to help our class of three and four year olds begin their wonderful learning adventure here at Paragon as the youngest knights. We do a lot of our learning through play and songs, like with our calendar. Through songs, we learn about uh, number recognition, patterning, and counting our days of the week, months of the year. And this time is so engaging for the children that when um, others come and ask them, what's your favorite part of pre-K? They always say calendar. Um, I know that sometimes it can be hard to drop off your child with somebody that you don't know or of the school, you don't know what's happening. But I want to assure you, put your mind at ease, that I will be in constant communication with you. And one of the ways I do that is I send home a newsletter every week in something that's called a moat book. And it's a binder um, that will house all kinds of things. And in that newsletter, I will let you know what we're studying that week or what's happening in the school. I look forward to having your child in my care. And uh, I want you to know that I will treat your child just as if they were my own. In fact, I talk so much about my students to my mom that she actually thinks my kids are her grandkids. So have a great summer and we'll see you in August. Hi, I'm Ann Fisher. I'm the kindergarten teacher here at Paragon. I retired from teaching in the public school system after 29 years, stayed home for one year and realized how much I missed the kids. So I got very lucky and got to come teach at Paragon. It feels like home, so I'm thrilled to be here. Parents, I have a few things that I'd love for you to do with your kids this summer to get them ready for kindergarten. The first thing is, is to read, read, read. You read to the kids and have them read to you. If they can't read the words, that's okay. Point to them as you read them and then they will learn them. Uh, also, I need them to practice spelling their name orally as well as writing their name so they can write their name on all their work. When they're writing, please make sure they use an uppercase letter at the beginning of their name and lowercase letters for the rest of their name. For math, if y'all will identify numbers zero to 10, that would be great. Also, identify shapes. Y'all can play an ice spy game and identify different shapes around the house or wherever you go. Thank you so much, and I look forward to a great year in the Fisher Frog class. Hey, everybody. My name is Corey Lemoyne, and I'm the first grade teacher at Paragon Prep. I am super excited about the new school year with my new first graders that are coming up from kindergarten. I absolutely love teaching first grade. I've actually taught various grades, but first grade is my true passion. I love seeing first graders learn so much. They get so excited about everything. There's so much joy and love in everything that they do. And that makes me excited and happy even more so to teach them even more. I love watching them grow tremendously from the beginning to the end of the year. Over the summer, there are some things that I would like for my little first graders to do so that they can be totally ready. I would love for them to read Every day, I would like for them to read to parents, to siblings, to pets, to whomever, as long as they are doing some great reading. And with that reading in mind, I would love for them to practice their kindergarten sight words. Those sight words will make sure that they are ready for that awesome learning that they're going to do in first grade. I got to see some really amazing writing that they did last year in kindergarten, so I hope that they will be able to keep it up over the summer. If they could do a little bit of writing a couple times a week and draw a picture to go with it, that would be marvelous. For math, I would love for them to, to practice their addition and subtraction facts. I know that they worked super hard on them last year. Please feel free to reach out to me with any kind of questions that you may have about anything over the summer. I am always available. Have a wonderful summer and I can't wait to see you all next year. I'd like to welcome you to the Sharp Fudge. 
also known as Paragon Second Grade. I am Vianna Zuknik and I cannot wait to work with your children and you because I believe together we're going to be a wonderful team. As first graders, your children mastered the art of learning how to read. In second grade, our focus is going to be reading to learn. So books are about to become a huge part of our lives. And I can't wait. Let's go ahead and get started on that this summer through some summer homework. I don't usually assign summer homework, but because of everything that's happened this year, I really want us to focus on not suffering from summer slide. Summer slide is defined as academic regression after a long break from school. And since even though we had classes over Zoom and digital classes, it's not quite the same thing as face-to-face. -face. So I wanna make sure our students do not suffer from losing all the progress that they have acquired through their first grade reading. I would like for us to continue practicing that on a weekly basis. I believe that children should read whatever they want, so I'm not gonna limit their choices on telling them what they can or can't read. The only thing that I ask is that they read at least 60 minutes each week during the summer. The three most important things that you can do with your child to help them with this is one, read to them. That will count towards their 60 minutes. Two, let them read with you. That also counts. And most importantly, three, let them read to you. That can happen with the same books over and over again over the course of the summer. It doesn't have to be a new book every week or every day. In fact, reading and rereading often will lead to an improvement in their reading fluency and it'll make them become lifelong lovers of reading. For more information regarding our summer reading homework, please check out Paragon's summer page. I cannot wait to welcome your children and you to our classroom next year. See you soon. Well, that concludes our show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to leave this available for you to watch at other times in case you want to go back and hit a few points again. Again, we're available this summer if you have questions or concerns. So go to our beautiful new website, email us, read the links there. We so look forward to seeing you in the fall. Goodbye.